Hey guys, it's Kelsey and I'm bringing you another If You Suck It makeup tutorial. I took to Twitter and asked what sort of If You Suck It makeup tutorial you guys would like to see and I had several people say that they wanted a tutorial about how to do a smoky eye. Smoky eyes are one of those things that have been popular for so long and uh, they were popular when I was in school and I remember that my definition of smoky eye meant taking gray, just like charcoal gray <laughs> eyeshadow and like, you know, circling my eyes with it and that is not the case. So without further ado, I guess I'll go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put my hair back so it's out of my face. I don't think I have a hair tie, a hair tie on my wrist. Oh! I hate it when I don't have a hair tie on my wrist when I want to pull my hair back. Um, and of course I could go get it, but no, I ain't gonna do that because I'm trying to do a tutorial for you. What I'm using today is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. While that's getting a little bit sticky, I'm gonna just sort of tell you something that may be mind-blowing to you. You can do smoky eyes in brown. You can do smoky eyes in great, like, purpley plum kind of colors. Smoky eye doesn't mean black. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you can watch what I'm doing in my eyes. So I'm just gonna do some basic liner on the top. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in zero. Now I'm gonna use my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, which comes in a little pop that looks like this. And I'm gonna use that little e.l.f. Um, brush that is just, I don't know, two or three dollars. It's a small angled brush. And all I'm doing with my gel liner is going over what I did with my Urban Decay because I don't want to do any of these steps too harshly. So I'm using just a little bit of black gel liner to really solidify the line, make it look nice and crisp without having to do either of the two steps very hand heavy handedly. I would rather do two layers. I would rather do an eyeliner with a gel liner over it or do a shadow liner and then use a pencil liner. I'd rather do two steps softly and have it end up looking nice and heavy and thick and great than do one all and <laughs> look stupid. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and use my angled little brush thing and do my other eye. There's a thing called tight lining, and tight lining is where you use your pencil and you, you know how you can like sort of pull your lid down at the bottom and like kind of like line your water line right there? You can do that on the top, and it's weird. If you want to try tight lining, then what you can do is sort of hold up your eyelid like this. And very carefully, I'm probably going to be all blinky, you can kind of hold your eyelashes up. How horrifying was that, right? That's so scary, I can't even talk about it. As I said before, I'm going to be doing a smoky eye that is sort of softer. I don't think that smoky eyes that are just like dark black are the best for me. The Balm's Meat Matte Nude Palette, I've talked about this before, and it's got a giant mirror at the top, and it's got um, nine really nice size uh, eyeshadow shades. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here, which is my neutral go-to, it's called Matte Sing. And I'm gonna sort of just get that all over my lids. Now for me, this color is just really nice because it sort of neutralizes my eyelids and it makes everything look a lot less purple and blue and veiny and stuff. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sort of flat shadow brush in my Bon Jovi Rockstar palette. This one called Moderato. It is very deep eggplant color. Um, and I think that is the one that I'm going to start with today. So I'm just going to dip my brush into the shadow and then you've got to get the excess off. If you dip this into your shadow and then rub this on your eye, you're going to hate yourself in the morning. So get some product on the brush and then either flick or tap whatever your technique. So the key to this step is to keep your color just on the part of your eyelid that is like right directly in front of your eyeball. So try to avoid getting it deep into the crease right now and try to avoid getting it above the crease. If you can keep it just on the little half moon that is sort of the bottom part of your eyelid, the part that folds up, that is ideal.
I really didn't go outside of the edge of my eyes. I didn't sort of use shadow up here. I didn't make a big outer V. I'm really basically just on my eyelid. This is a great time to use a little flat, teeny tiny brush to go ahead and get some of that same deep color underneath my lower lash line. So I don't take it all the way into the corner. I'm just like three quarters of the way across. So now I've got liner under here, under here, and on my lid. I have used one color. You can do this with a smoky brown, a deeper chocolate brown, you can do this with charcoal, you can do this obviously with a deep, deep purple like I have here. Um, you have lots of options. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get a shade that's in the same color family but that is not as intense. Um, I'm going to use one from this Meat Matte Nude palette. It's this one called Matte Hung, and it's sort of a steely purple color. comes across a little bit gray. And this brush that I'm using right now is one of my favorite brushes, probably my favorite eye brush that I've ever used. It is the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, and it has a little taper, so you can kind of focus where you're going, but it's got so much length that it's fluffy. And I love this brush. It cures so many ills, hides so many sins. I think that it is an absolute must, 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 must have. So I'm in this other color, this other purple color, and it's a softer color, so I'm just going to start kind of filling in some of the perhaps unevenness and building into the crease. What I want to do is we really want to highlight under the brow because I really want a nice contrast with our smoke. I do really like in that little silent treatment trio that I showed you that top color. Um, it's kind of a light, I don't know, kind of peachy color, pinky maybe. And this is one that I really like using just sort of right up underneath the brow. This is another trick. Use a very light color like this and sort of use it to shape that V and make it a little tighter. Um, almost like the same place that I would have had a winged eyeliner, but it's nice and sharp now because I used that light color and which obviously helps to really contrast with the darker color. Another thing that I think really helps is to really brighten up, lighten up the inside corner. A little lightness goes a long way. You probably want to hit your lower waterline. It's just going to really sort of make sure that you have it all the way filled in because you don't want it to look like you just have product under your eye and you've got this big peach stripe right in the middle of the eyelid that you're trying to create. So lowering that waterline down there is going to help a lot. On my lower lash line, I like to use the Lash Discovery little baby baby little baby wand. Just recently turned on to this big fat Eye Heart Extreme um, from Essence. It's this big giant fat tube and it's got this big giant fat mascara wand. I'm like, it's like huge. <laughs> but it does have a lot of like volumizing stuff, which I do like. So I would like to reiterate that I did not use black eyeshadow or even really gray eyeshadow. I used eggplant eyeshadow. I think this is probably common knowledge, but if you do a big, bold, smoky eye, it's probably pretty important to keep um, things like your lip color relatively uh, low key, um, unless you're going to like, you know, the ball or something. <laughs> yeah, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have a request for another tutorial, if you suck at makeup, um, maybe this is how to do a full face coverage of foundation and concealer and stuff. Um, I told you that I'm already going to work on one about contouring. Um, I really don't know what else you guys want to see. So let me know what other tutorials you think you might like to see and uh, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, let's talk it out in the comments, okay? Um, if you have any tips for a smoky eye, I would love to hear about that as well. So um, I guess signing off, I'm Kelsey Mackey and I hope you have an amazing day. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.